I turned, I uh, got up close to the vehicle, a sedan, uh, put on my lights, and started calling. I'll be stopping. And about that time, the vehicle stops. The door bursts open on the passenger side. Somebody jumps out. A guy jumps out, drops something, picks it up, runs into the woods. And I'm, ah, I've got a runner. I announce that. I get out. And I go, hey, and I can run down and, and the barrel of this. I say, hey, stop. Come on back. Just want to talk pow, 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 like that, that fast. And uh, all I remember is uh, I'm hearing pow, pow. What, what is that? It was real muffled and that's called auditory exclusion. A year shut down, and apparently it was a 41 Magnum shooting at me. I had no idea. Couldn't see anything. It was pitch black, and somebody was shooting back at, in that direction. Turned out it was me, and I had done it with just muscle memory, uh, just by training, was shooting back in that direction, trying to keep whoever was shooting at me off of me. And then I get a thump in the chest. I was like, it hit. I somebody to say, punch you in my left pectoral muscle. And I said, well, I must have been hit, but, you know, I'm not down, so I'll keep going. Uh, but then I ended up on the ground. I'd fallen over a log. I said, well, I better get out of the kill zone. So I started back up, went to the vehicle, said, shots fired, shots fired, I'm hit. And uh, I realized now I got a guy, I got a driver up here who is in potential problem, too. So I've got one guy in the woods shot at me. I've got the driver. So I got my, uh, my long whip out and told him to get on the ground. I got him out, cuffed him up, and then... Finally, as people started to, to appear, then I, I got Hogan with was there, my deputy from Missoula County. Uh, I said, "Hey, partner, I can't, I can't, I can't find any. Is there a hole? I can't find any hole." And he said, "I said, you know, you know, I guess it must have bounced off." But in any case, uh, he said, "Oh no, it's right here. It's under your bed. It's actually clipped the the lower uh, spine, or whatever you want to call it, the lower point of my badge." So I reached under my uh, my uniform under my shirt and under my body armor and they brought my hand out, it was full of blood. It just came out with blood. I went, oh, okay. <laughs> so something did penetrate. And uh, so I got down on one knee, sat there a bit, said, I better tell my story. Maybe maybe I'm worse off than I think I am. So I started giving my story into a uh, reporter. And then from then on, I became a patient and uh, was driven partway up to Townsville mm-hmm. and then uh, was flown up the rest, or I guess I was taken up on, I think it was the helicopter anyway. I made my way to Kalispell uh, Regional, and uh, and they uh, worked on it, uh, pulled all the foreign material out of my hole. It was about two and a half, three inches wide, kind of a circular hole. It had blown out uh, pectoral muscles, but it had not penetrated the, uh, the rib, uh, inside the ribs. And uh, they got everything out, sewed it up. Uh, later, when they opened it up, it basically just opened up. They said, well, we're going to have to let it, um, uh, you know, re- repair itself from inside. And that's what they did. It slowly, I'd pack it with material and pull it out, and then pack it with material and pull it out. And it slowly uh, built up scar tissue. And that's the story of the incident. And so now Mr. Selner was convicted, obviously, and now he is up for parole. Are you going to be making the trip up to Deer Lodge? Yes, I am. This is actually his second time. He was uh, they, he was sentenced for uh, uh, let's see, attempted deliberate homicide and use of a dangerous weapon, and he was given uh, life plus 10 years. Uh, after 15 years in 2011, he was uh, put up for his first parole hearing, and then they told him to wait another five and put in, and now here he is, the next five. So, yes, I will be there uh, for this parole hearing, definitely. All right, Bob. Hey, uh, thanks so much. I appreciate it. It, it, it. Now, now, what what will you be telling the parole board when when you uh, testify before uh, before them? Uh, I'll tell them whatever I've learned since then. You know about the incident. They have no. I don't think they had a real good idea. They have no circumstances or anything that happened. They don't know much more than a sheet of paper with here it is. Here's his convict number. Here's his. You know he's been great in prison. And they don't, they don't know the circumstances, and they don't know his his uh, delusional uh, thinking. And he is delusional. He has he you know he said when he in court he, he said a little uh, he heard in the bird's voice God speaking to him in a bird's voice said shoot him in the chest. He's wearing his flak jacket, and I won't hurt him. So he launched six rounds in my direction. One hit me in the chest, and I was moving to the left. One hit me in the holster. I didn't even know that until I got my holster back and said, Hey, who ruined my holster? <laughs> And uh, that was later. And, uh, and uh, so he hit me twice. Four of the bullets went by and he's somewhere. Anyway, he is of the opinion that God speaks to him. And if he wasn't supposed to do his act, then why didn't God tell him not to? 
and he said that on TV, and he said that everywhere else. Well, I'm doing God's work, and God said to do that. God, uh, I've made the decision, and I'm a priest, and uh, and uh, you know, basically, he he's he's basically uh, in that frame of mind that uh, he figures whatever he does is okay because I would tell him not to if he wasn't supposed to do it. So that kind of thinking wow. with uh, that mentality is is what we're going to be letting loose again. And and when he was out and gone for three years, he uh, he would bring you know, they would be militia coming in. They'd have their fantastical you know, uh, theory about you know black helicopters and the, I'm part of the federal government conspiracy. And I tried to assassinate him because he because he uh, didn't pay taxes. I could care less if he paid taxes, uh, federal taxes, and uh, that was his thinking. And he thought, well, I may have been paranoid, but I had a right to be. Well, that's the kind of thing we really don't need to let uh, loose on the society again out here. All right.